Hey everybody, this is Jace with Microsoft News and today we're giving you a walkthrough of the Windows 10 Fall Update uh, for 2015 or as some of you have come to know it, Threshold 2, uh, which was just made available to the public. Now, on this update there is a massive list of updates and tweaks, tons of bug fixes and under the hood type stuff. But a lot of these changes are not incredibly noticeable, they're not really visual, but we want to take you through some of the more massive stuff you'll see. First off, the Start menu has been updated with new features. Most notably, the Context menu for Tiles has changed. As you can see, you can now share apps through this menu as well as review them in the store. Also take note that if you're a superpower user and like to scroll a lot, you can now install up to 2048 tiles in your app list instead of a meager 512. A few other little tweaks include a change in system dropdowns and jump lists have been slightly tweaked in design, but honestly, if someone hadn't told me about this one, I wouldn't have noticed. Undo improvements to the desktop itself. When you snap a window and select another window to snap beside it, in the settings you can now enable both windows to resize simultaneously or dynamically depending on how you want to put it. There have also been small improvements to tablet mode as well. You can see here that Task View now allows you to snap apps to one side of the screen or the other, or you can replace apps by dragging the app to the side you want to pin it to. Uh, I don't know about you, but this feels very Windows 8-ish to me, which isn't a bad thing. I always thought that this was something that Windows 8 did very well with how you manage snapping apps side by side, especially in a tablet environment. There have been several improvements to Cortana as well. Incidentally, these are my favorite new features of this build, especially as a Surface and a Windows Phone owner. You can now enable Cortana to alert you to missed calls, as you can see in my notifications panel here on the side. This also works for syncing your messaging and call history, so that's really cool. Also note that I'm not connected to this PC via Bluetooth or any other type of connection. This is straight out of Cortana and data syncing. Microsoft Edge has received several new features. Its build number has been upgraded significantly, and tons of new support for HTML5 and CSS3 features have been added. But the most notable things are easy to spot. First off, you can now cast media to other screens. I don't have the necessary hardware, but we've talked about this in the past, and it will let you cast media from YouTube and Pandora and and other media outlets to, to other screens, to external displays. Edge also now has a feature that allows you to see previews of tabs when you hover over them, similar to what you're probably used to in the taskbar. And Ask Cortana has been expanded to include text highlighted while reading a PDF. Also included is the ability to sync your favorites and reading lists between devices and a new icon for the notes feature. And finally, one nice last little touch is a middle click of your mouse will now launch a new Edge browser window. And just a few last things to note, Skype video, messaging, and phone have been added as default apps. Now, currently there isn't much to these apps, but like we've mentioned in the past, this is groundwork being laid well in advance of being able to message and make phone calls directly from your PC. Think of it as evidence of the unification of the Microsoft ecosystem. And finally, all of the built-in apps for Windows have been updated to more recent versions. And last but not least, you can now activate Windows 10 with the Windows 7, 8, or 8.1 key. So that's just about it for the big improvements to the Windows 10 Fall Update. Again, tons of under the hood stuff and several things that we didn't mention here. All in all, this seems like a worthy update of an OS that's only been on the market for a couple of months. So nice little features here and there, but nothing really groundbreaking. Thanks for tuning in and make sure that you subscribe to Microsoft News on YouTube and head to the site for the latest in Microsoft News.